Hi everybody, still waiting for Linkage Kevin here. Stuff has happened, kind of. There's a new selection pack with a thick trap lady and some random cards like Weather Support and Illegal Knight, which might be worth playing, TBH fam. But anyways, what Skystriker people care about is, of course, Runic, which I will quickly go over them from the perspective of a Skystriker player. But I need to mention that this isn't really a guide on how to play Skystriker pure, but you should probably click here for that. Nor is this really a guide on how to play pure Runic since, you know, I'm basically a Skystriker guy. And you come to me for one one thing and one thing only high quality sky striker content but before we get started as always don't forget to sub and click that like button it'll really help my youtube overlords and pay for my ray dojin commission Runics are an archetype that is very similar to Sky Striker, where it's basically all spells and a few monsters. Except this time, instead of being a 15 year old girl with PTSD, you're in an FPS game. Yes, Skyrim got released in virtual cardboard. So why not mix these two together? And very much like Sky Striker, it plays kind of like a toolbox control deck. All of the quick play spell cards have these requirements. You're forced to skip your next battle phase. Emphasis on next, hint, hint. You summon a runic extra deck monster to your extra monster zone. You banish a number of cards off the top of your opponent's deck. And a Unfortunately, everything is a hard once per turn. Got it? Let's speed run. By the way, if these card effects seem familiar, it's just a coincidence. Tiff is your searcher. <coughs> Engage. Flashing fire targets one special from the monster your opponent controls and destroys it. <coughs> Afterburners. Destruction destroys a spell or trap card your opponent controls. <coughs> Jamming waves. Freezing curses negates an effect monster your opponent controls. Wait a wanker. Slumber protects a monster on the field from being destroyed by battle or card effect this turn. Cough, cough, eagle booster. Golden droplet, your opponent draws one card. Wait, really? Hold on, let me read that again. Banishes four though. And Smiling Storm banishes cards up to the number of cards your opponent controls. <coughs> I'm glad my throat cleared up. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see from the many similarities to Sky Striker, some of these runic cards are complete garbage. But wait, there's more. Allure. Each time a quick play activates, you banish the top card of your opponent's deck. And finally, Fountain, which is actually pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> you can activate runic quick play spell cards from your hand during your opponent's turn and recycle your runic cards and then draw the same number of cards. And they happen to have purple cards too. Huggies adds the field spell and protect. Jerry Seinfeld adds a non-quick play runic spell from your graveyard to your hand and also destroys a card if it's destroyed by battle. Money adds a runic continuous spell from your deck to your hand. It is a negate if your opponent targets a runic card you control or a set card. And in real life, cheeses for time. And then Frecky Freckles, the other dog, has like an essay on its card effect, but it basically does nothing. So really, those are all the cards for now. But what do you do with them? Here are some quick pointers from your boy Kevin for free. Remember that using the quick play spell skips your next battle phase so do your sky striker stuff during your main phase one and then enter battle phase probably with green ray and then activate your runic stuff or honestly just do whatever you want remember that runic fountain works on your opponent's turn too and honestly it kind of seems like runic is like sky striker but fair will it be enough to make sky striker top tier spoiler alert not until linkage comes uh take it away real life kevin Hey, hey, youtube we're back real life kevin here this is my working deck list for sky striker runic so Three Baylor, of course, three Maximum Cope, three Ash Blossom. These nine cards you should probably play in like every deck. Boo hoo, Van Maxi, not really. Uh, three Ray, three Rosie O'Donnell. You can probably play two, but I'm not lucky. Remember, no Ray, no play. That's what I always say. I'm not a rapper. One Rhoda, of course, one Terraforming, double and Guy, one Afterburners. Again, I would like to play two, but now with Runix, you can probably get away with one, and the other one's probably better, anyways. One after, uh, Area Zero, because now we can play double field spell. You can also play set rotation, but. Uh, personally, I feel it's not worth it considering like um, it's going to up the number of cards in your deck. And I always try to keep it as low as possible for consistency purpose, right? But there's a combo you can probably do with it. Like, for example, with set rotation, you can put this to your opponent's field, put this to your field, then activate, um, which one was it? Flashing fire? No, destruction, target the, you know, set area zero and then get a free ray. You could do that. But if you do that, your battle phase is negated, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, Runic Fountain, as you can see, we play two of those. Yes, one multi-roll, double call by. Actually, you could probably get away with playing one, but I feel two is probably fine because it recycles a lot. And it's kind of like multi-roll, right? Where you should probably play one if you know what you're doing, but I like playing two because it's like you get free you get free draws. You just recycle your hand if you have another card, right? So double call by, you should ban this card. This card is so broken. One Horny Drone, three Widow Anchor, of course, one Shark Cannon, triple Tip, double, uh, triple Flashing Fire, right, Disruption, all that stuff like that. It's like Offering to the Dooms or Afterburners, but like, good. <laughs> so, one Destruction, that's the Spell and Trap. You could probably play, like, don't play it at all, because there's not much Spell and Trap cards in the deck, 
or like in the meta at all, but I always like to play one. Um, there's that, there's double freeze and curses. You could play three of those, because again, it's like a free negate, right, for an effect monster, but we already played three Veiler. We play like three Widow Wanker, three of this, so I think that's probably too much, because, you know, it's fine and it's only once per turn, right? You don't always want to see this every time. And then, of course, three Infinite Imperm. If you want to cut this to 40, then either take out the three Veilers or the three uh, Imperms. Probably take out the three Imperms, because then, at least with this, maybe you can do something instead, like it's a monster, you can summon it with Axis Code Talker, whatever. And then extra deck, of course, you play two uh, Huggies, right? So you can first search field spell, do some stuff, right? Uh, one dog. This one is basically just like to be recycle your <laughs> your field spell or somehow get rid of both of them, right? And then fairly standard extra deck. So one red ray, three blue ray, three green ray, one yellow ray. Double Ziki. I always play double Zeke. Again, you could probably play one, but I play very aggressive with my Woodwanker, so I like to link off and all that stuff. One Dark and then one Axis Kill Talker. And another thing I thought about playing, again, it has come up sometimes, is like any generic Link 3, like a Selene or a Unicorn even. For that, you can probably take out the dog, because again, I've almost never summoned it out of all the runic cards. Or if you're very good, then you probably take out the extra green ray. Because green ray, you only usually use it once for sending ray or rose, and two, to send the extra spell to your graveyard. And that's the deck list for now. Things will probably change as the time goes on. Uh, here's some gameplay that may or not be good. Bye bye.
yeah, weren't those gameplays super interesting? If you like what you saw and you want to see more Skysucker stuff, please always like, sub, and comment down below. And if you always want to support me, it costs one American dollar. That's all it costs. I believe it's like, like, uh, like a hundred something yen, 140 yen. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye bye, Gianni. This is my outro song for free YouTube monies. Give me some likes and support me, please.